What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Marcos Chinoco. I'm a Marcel Garcia Black Belt 5 time world champion, big us. So guys, today's lessons, I'm gonna focus on five killers on bars that everyone should know and everyone should use. And I believe it's gonna help you guys a lot. So I'm gonna, I separate one of my uh, uh, five ways, five different ways to attack the person on bars. And Umber is one of my favorite submissions ever since I learned since I was a white belt. And uh, I started doing Umber when I was, uh, uh, like I say, when I was a white belt. I was watching uh, Roger Grace against Jacare when he bust Jacare's arms and Jacare put the arms in. I, for some reason, thought that fight was like epic. It was like very, very cool. And since then, I pay attention on Roger Grace, how he control the person's uh, uh, body and then end, end up in the armbar and that was fascinating what fascinated me was not just about hurt the people's arm but how he sets up the armbar and since then I started doing the armbar so if you are a big fan of armbar so make sure to check it out these five uh, uh, setups that I separate for you guys <laughs> Right here, the close guard. So, umbar is very, uh, 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 is very like I like to say. How do I set up the umbar? I like to first thing more than than just control the arm. I have to mobilize the person's posture. That's what the main goal is. If you have the person's posture low, your potential, to, your, your your chance to get to the umbar is huge. Okay, so. Umbar is not just about control the arm, but more than that, control the person's posture. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do it. We're gonna go. A lot of people go to a regular umbar from hip, okay, and then go collar, shoulders, which is really good. This grip, okay. So number one thing that I like to do here, I like to start. I don't like to show the person where I'm gonna go like cross. I'm already here. Where picture the idea where I'm gonna go for the armbar, which is like it's not a, a ideal. So I like to control same side arm, okay, right here. So as I'm playing like a guard, controlling the sleeves. So now look, what I'm gonna do. I can control both sleeves. Very simple way to start. So now foot goes on the hip, but my knee cannot be passed around the person's shoulders. So from here, I want my knee up where I elevate my hip and my knee mat the person's shoulders. So now, mat cannot push away because if I just put my foot on the hip and mat move his posture back, so now I lose his posture, okay? So let's go straight to the point, number one, both sleeves, foot on the hip, immediately place a foot on the hip, elevates and put weight into your foot, into his hip. So now, pay attention how I'm gonna use my leg to Push him that way, he's not gonna fall. You just wanna take his posture offline and hook. So now have this my knee into each other, so like this, hook this leg. Only with this leg, it's hard for Matt to reset his posture and it's hard for him to posture up. So try posture up, Matt. This leg is super heavy. Look how my heels are laying right on top of his shoulder, on top of his back. So from here, you just have to, number one, you just have to go over the shoulder lock that's it you don't have even pass okay so number one i'm just gonna lock over the shoulder okay pinch my knees and then from here his arm is so flat on top of my hip that i can just focus here and get the umbra right there okay so a lot of people lose umbra when they go try pass the leg over the head and that's when they pop the elbows out and then you lose it so number one from this angle, when I go here, foot goes up, swing and hook. So see like Matt posture was on this angle. Okay, so keep the sleeves, keep this heavy. Now take my foot off the hip, lock right there. So when I lock my feet, I pin my knees, both hands on the arm, and just lock over and finish on the first elbow right here, okay? So let's move on, that was number one. So let's move on to number two, where you can go from here, you can just 
instead of control the same side, which is my favorite, okay, I'm gonna control in the opposite direction here, okay? Control the opposite direction, like cross grip. Now, this hand goes on the arm, on the collar, I mean, and then pretty much same idea, but I'm not just putting it here, I'm gonna try just cross the arm, like just from, let me show you guys a better angle, just gonna go here and leave this arm on my chest. Arm goes over here. Now what I have to do is open my leg and go over the shoulder again, okay? But this time, I'm gonna turn, I'm not pushing, I'm gonna turn my knee towards that way, where now I have the full control with the same grip on the collar, I push and then pass hook. Now the detail of the second one, I don't cross my feet. If I cross my feet, Matt can stack me and start yanking the arm out, which I don't have much power. So when I pass the leg from the shoulders, I pull, I turn, push, hook. Keep this leg heavy. If this leg heavy and my legs are heavy without a cross, if I'm here, now look how amazing this position is. Matt, try to pull your arm out. There's no angle for him because my hips are behind his elbow and then he cannot pull the arm out. And then just finish in a regular uh, uh, umba right here. It's not about pulling the arm, but about keep his arm attached to your body and then elevate your hip. Okay? So from here, cross grip, cross grip right in the collar. And then I want to lock, I want to open, lock. Now from here, I want to turn my knee towards his head where I have the perfect umber to pull, perfect angle to push, hook. Now make sure you, once you hook, you bring your heels into you. Now we're gonna see how tight this umber is. Now for hit tight, and now just small move, hit tap, okay? That's number two, okay? So number three, what I'm gonna go. So now instead I'm gonna go to the arm where Matt start pulling his arm out for here. If I go here, he just yank his arm out and get slippery, right? So what I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna bring him down the same way I'm gonna cross, but just to keep this arm shallow, okay? Now I'm gonna go here, sneak, open up, grab the collar. So now instead of holding his arm, I hold the lapel behind his triceps right here, which now is gonna be super hard for Matt to pull his arm out. If you pull the arm out, I go with him, okay? And then from here, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna try, some people try to go over the head and go on the shoulders, okay? And then foot on the hip, follow up. But from here, look what I'm gonna do, a foot on the hip, I'm a big fan of lifting my hip higher, and then bring this guy there, okay? And then from here, hold the wrist, the same side, look, one arm is holding. Look, this grip is so tight that Matt tried to pull arm out. There's no way he's gonna pull this arm out, okay? So I learned this when it was a blue belt, uh, if I believe. My, my professor showed me Juarez, and since then, it was like amazing. So good control for the arm. So from here, I pass my leg over and have, I don't have to worry about passing my leg, and I don't have to worry about he pulled the arm out, which just passed over, and then the arm is right there. Once I have the wrist, glue his arm on my body and then just let go of the lapel and have a perfect finish. Keep always when you hook your heels, guys, bring your heels to you, which is a lot more tighter. Okay? So quick review here. So I have the arm, boom, open up the lapel, give to this hand, as tight as you can. Now foot on the hip, roll him this side. Hold the sleeves, the same side. Go just go for the wrist. Let's make a grip like this, here. And then it's easy pass, I, have, I can take my time passing my leg over the head that Matt's not gonna pull his arm out. And then from here, slide down and go right there, okay? So those are number three. Number four, what I'm gonna do here? What I can do, I can go for the uh, uh, umbar. So I'm gonna go very simple way where I'm gonna go uh, control his posture, okay? So I can bring him down 
one arm under, one arm over. I can bring him down just if it seems like I'm gonna just hug him. Okay, under hook, over hook. So now over hook, my thumb gonna go under the collar. So which I can even hold his hands, bring my thumb right there. Holding his posture, now from here, I control his posture and this arm. Okay, so pay attention. I hug, I start from here. Now I'm gonna open up, thumb inside of the collar. Keep right there. Now this arm gonna underhook the leg. Once I have the arm underhooked, now I'm gonna start using this leg to start swinging my hip out. So I'm gonna start doing one, two, and then from here, Matt cannot pull his arm out because I'm controlling the posture. So look how it works. If I let go the uh, the, the, the collar, Matt posture up, and the arm is out. For controlling this, just minimize the, the posture holding the collar. Now, look how my legs are open. Keep his posture heavy. Now, Matt, try to pull the arm out. There's no way he's gonna pull the arm out because there's no space. And that's the trick part right here. I'm always controlling his posture first, where now gives me the mobility to start swinging, swinging, and pass my leg right over, okay? And then from here, have a nasty choke right there, which I can cover up next class, in the next video. But now from here, I wanna bring my elbow down and I have a perfect um right there. So move this way a little bit, where I'm gonna go bring, I can sit up, bring him down, okay? And then open up, boom, two, get the collar grip. Now from here, keep my elbows heavy, underhook the leg, okay? And now start swinging this leg, where I'm gonna start swinging, but don't lose the arm, swing, swing. And then when it's about to pass my leg over the head, I can push his arm up a little bit. So I swing, Swing, I push his arm, get his head and pass the leg. So now I have a very uh, a good armbar from here. And once again, my heels are heavy. I'm not pushing my way. If I push my way, he technically pulled the arm out. So I wanna hook the heels and then keep my elbows heavy, which gives me the perfect armbar right there, okay? So that was number four. Now the very last, the number five, which is one of my favorite one of all the time, which is the shotgun armbar, which is a lot of people asking, and I get like a lot of people uh, uh, on that trap. So usually what happens? So Matt usually can start with this grip, and usually happens when the person wants to get away from my guard, which he holds my lapel and starts standing up. When I hold it here, so move this way, when I, I have this grip set up right here, which he think that I'm gonna hold him down, but I really like, I want something else. I have here, and then I let Matt come up. So he come up, one, two, and then from here, my foot gonna go on the hip, and then from the collar to the wrist, and then it's gonna pinch my knees and finish right there, which is like, I'm holding, I'm holding his arm, which is like a shot, that's how he should hold the shotgun, hold right here, and then pinch my knees tight, and then turn his wrist out, which leave zero chance for Matt to uh, uh, escape the elbow right there, okay? He doesn't have necessary stands up, but that's the setup, under the elbow, from the collar to the wrist, and just snap right there. Where he has my grip, here, I'm gonna go there, I can't even start from here, which go up, so from the car, from the guard to the hip, and now look how I keep the arm from the collar and then elevates my hip, turning his arm in, turn in, gets there. So now if I push straight up, it's not gonna happen. I have to push him to the side where I turn his whole arm in and now push, pinch my knees. Now he cannot drive in and he cannot move away. Which from here, I just keep pushing Matt to that way. Okay, turning here. Okay, so one more time. So from there, he goes here. And then whatever goes here, boom. Armbar goes right there and it happens really quick. 
one of the good way also that I, I like to use when Matt is standing up and then he holds my collar right here to go for the cut where I hold the collar, hold here and go right there and it's the exact same setup starting when he attacks to pass my guard. So there's a variety of uh, uh, ways to get to the shotgun armbar. Both those, but those are those, uh, I separate those five ways so you guys can mess around and get someone on the armbar, which is like one of the classic armbars in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, okay? So I separate those ways, but armbar pretty much is like we're related with one motion, but it's how that the fascinating part is how you can set up to the armbar. And leverage is one of my favorite ways to get the armbar, controlling the arm and more than that, control the person's posture, keeping really tight, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson today. And uh, if you guys wanted to learn more about submissions for close guard, especially for armbars, I have the full course at BJ Fanatics, submissions from close guard, which is like, there's a bunch of armbars right there, a bunch of submissions. So you guys should check it out. I'm going to leave the link right in the description of this video, so make sure you guys check it out. There's a good stuff right there, guys. So, if from those five, many, many more into the close guard submissions, okay? So, thank you so much.